Hey guys, how's it going? Brad here, and we're continuing with Battle for Azeroth, specifically Rise of Ashara, and I'm on my Horde Hunter, and we're in Najdatar right now, and uh, we finished off with the story where we had to go into the Eternal Palace. Uh, I only do the Eternal Palace, I only do all the raids in LFR, so only the first wing is open right now. Uh, I don't know if the second wing opened up yet, but I can easily check that. Yeah, so as you can see right here, if you're looking on desktop, you'll be able to see it. Mobile, you may not be able to. But uh, we've got the Grand Reception, which is Wing 1. A lot of groups have been having a lot of trouble going through this. Uh, I've been trying and trying over and over again to get through this one wing on a single character, and they just fail so many times that I just eventually give up. So I'm going to give it another week or so, and hopefully I'll be able to make some progression in this and record a video on it. But the other two wings for looking for raid, LFR, aren't open yet, so we still got time. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do World Quest, which I've pretty much been avoiding because we've had uh, consistent amounts of story to do in this zone. So now I'm going to go through the World Quests, but I'm going to pick a different character this time. So my companions, I have uh, Gilbrack up to rank 13. When he gets to rank 20, I believe he gives you a pet. Uh, as a reward but I believe either of these two Vim or Neri when you get them to level 20 they give you a mount I didn't know that when I started playing these characters but I'm gonna choose one of these guys and go with them instead um, just because it'll be fun and some of the world quests I think the world quests seem to change a little bit with them I'm not 100% sure because I've just been playing the one character Pretty much in every character, I pick the same character, and I just keep leveling them up. Hello, friend. Okay, these are just no bounties that I'm picking up, so... They're like, I'm not even gonna read the description. It's like, kill 15 of the... Collect 5 of this. Like, that sort of thing. It's nothing major. Uh, it's just like a straightforward bounty. You just have to collect items. On the Alliance side, I do still have to do quests in this zone for the story. We share what we've got. Uh, so I have to collect and five carp. And then we got the job board. Retrieve the egg of Glorthog. Okay, this is new. Glorthog is responsible for the death and torture of many of the unshackled. They have shared with us their pain. Bring back his eye. He dwells in the deep coil tunnels. Extreme caution advised. Upon completion of this mission, report to Sea Caller Uno for commendation. Okay, so it looks like that's north of me. We've also got at least one quest south. That's an ally quest, and one quest north. Alright, so we've got to pick up tons. Kill Naga. Choose a Water Lord. Uh, let's do the Battered Supplies. Might as well grab this since I'm here. So I basically got to do the uh, typical quest we have where we have to collect uh, one dry seaweed, one carp, like uh, one reinforced shell, all that stuff. So we got to do, we do have to go around and get those. Oh, two of them, saw, three of them side by side here. Perfect. Okay, so that's three items. Those items aren't shared either, so when I pick them up, they vanish for other players. Uh, uh, there's supposed to be a quest here. Oh, there it is. Hello, friend. Earthquakes, snakes, water coming from every direction. What is going on around here? Neri said to plug some holes in the defenses. Didn't think she meant it literally. Take some of this goo. Next interruption, stick it in the hole. Hold on to oh, you're very forceful. I might as well fight these guys now. I've been trying to avoid. I've got a little critter guy trying to attack. Me. But he's not a critter, but he's so he's as big as a critter. I was leaving him alone because he can't kill me. Alright. 
Can I do anything for you? Can I do anything for you? Okay, they asked for. Okay, so there's gonna be carp Seize those supplies. that are gonna be lying Don't around on the ground, and I have, have to, I have to kick them back into the water. The sad part about these is they're usually pretty hard to find because players pick this quest very quickly because it's so easy to do. Oh my god, it landed on some flotation device. <laughs> it landed on a log. Oh, there's one up here? I thought I saw one up here. Yeah, there it is. Come on, land. Ah! Oh. I gotta be careful. There are... There are piranha in this water. There's a cave at the bottom of this waterfall, and if you go into it, you get swarmed by piranha. Oh crap. It became PvP going up there. I didn't even realize. Once I saw the Alliance, I flew away, but I instantly triggered as PvP. Oh well. Somebody may attack me, who knows. Been in multiple situations where I've been attacked. Even though I'm not on a PvP server, people will actually do it a lot here. And it's usually some player who knows that you don't PvP and they know you accidentally trigger PvP, but they attack you anyway. I'm rather smug about it, realizing that they killed someone in PvP who doesn't even PvP. It's not much of bragging rights there. Jara has been terrorizing the seas since the days when my shell was shiny. It's about time someone stood up to her. All right, uh, we've got some more struggling carp. This is the first time I've had to do a struggling carp world quest. I'm kind of shocked that it's here. I'm looking for alliance as well because there's bound to be somebody who's going to try to catch me. Catch me off guard. I don't see any... There is a dra dagger tooth terror down there. Which is a unique mob. I don't want to attack it yet because I don't know if it resets my PvP or... Uh, just stops it while I'm fighting. That's really shallow water to be kicking a fish into. I did find a fish on a beach just north of me. Uh, one of the lakes north of me, because I live around the Great Lakes. And uh, when I was younger, I did find a fish that it uh, just got swept up. And uh, I picked it up and I put it back in the water. I held it by its tail until it started swimming because it wasn't moving much. <laughs> I thought it was dead initially, but I just saw it uh, wash up in a, sh in a small wave. It was a little baby fish. So I walked out till I was waist high in the water and I just uh, put it in the water, held onto its tail, kept it upright, and uh, then it started moving. I was like, oh, thank God it didn't die. Uh, there's no way I can get that there. Okay, so... I've got to find one more struggling carp. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to look for Flotsam, 
I still have to find flotsam, uh, starfish, spiral leaf, and deep coral bud. I know where most of those are. Flotsam is more likely to find here. Because most players don't. You're most likely to aggro here too. There's another struggling fish. This will be the last one. I really like this world quest. I actually just, I find it really neat. You don't have to fight anything. You just have to look for fish that are out of water and you just have to help them get back in the water by kicking them. It's rather harsh to kick a fish, but okay. <laughs> okay, the Murloc area is where it gets a little more dangerous. See, because there is a flotsam there. Oh, there's one. You can grab that without aggroing anything. Go. Okay, so the angel starfish and the spiral leaves are best defined in the naga area. Uh, if you ever plan on playing this and you have to do this, uh, it's kind of like a meta quest. You just have to find one of a bunch of items. Uh, the starfish... The starfish and the spiral leaf are easiest to find in the Naga area on the north side of the island. This is where I always go, and it's always on the east side where it's the most easy to do it. But there are world quests here, so I'm going to do those. But why does it show multiple world quests with the same thing? Okay, so I have to kill 15 Naga. Oh, there's runes here. So it looks like the world quests were screwing up on the minimap. So I have to do orange. I think it was orange, they said. Uh, oh, where is orange? Oh, it's yellow, not orange. Uh, let's see. There's not a ton of yellow here. Sometimes you have to help it along, too, because they won't auto-line up for you. you got to kind of do it yourself. you got to help it along a little bit. Gotta find one more to match those two, or one more to match these two. There we go. Okay, let's see if anybody's fighting this Kits Kitzel Kitzel the Deep Speaker. If not, I'll summon a group to help me out. Oh, we got an ally quest. My chosen champion against you. Okay, let's see if I can find a group for this. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to find a group, so I'm going to start my own. Jump off. Let my pet die. By the time they try to get to me, I am going to feign death. 
So someone pulled them all, and then those of us standing there decided to attack. And then they turned around and died instantly and tried to kill the rest of us. A lot of people are being jerks about it. Okay, so I'm going to start a group. Hopefully I'll find a group really quick. Invite. 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 Yes. Got a tank. Oh man, I'm at five percent health. That's not good. That AoE he summons is obnoxious. Just yeah, that time I was out of its range. Thanks all. So many others eager to take their place. Sorry guys. <laughs> They're dead, but I, I don't have a heal to, to res them. It's further up? Really? Oh, it's the chest. Okay, so this chest I gotta find the key by killing Naga. Luckily, I also have to kill 15 Naga. So I'm going to do both. Let's make sure none of my other quests are to kill Naga as well. Okay, void, void tinged substances. Okay, the reinforced key has to be over here. I was gonna go over and do the void tinged, substan tinged substances because those uh, are carried by Naga as well, but it looks like you can't find it from them. So I'll go over here where everyone else goes. I'll help him out and I'll kill this guy for my life. Would have been hilarious if I got the key on that one drop. <laughs> Come on, you glorified sand eel. I'll fight him. He's elite, so it'll take him a little bit longer to kill. And it'll take me a little bit longer to kill him, but not too long. My gear uh, is up to 405 now item level, which is pretty decent considering I don't raid. But uh, I ended up getting that. My gear was at item level 397, I think it was. Because my I hadn't got an upgrade for my weapon in ages. And everything else I have is the gear from Najdatar, but and Mechagon the accessories. But uh, 
I hadn't gotten anything for a weapon in ages. Even during the war fronts, I didn't get any weapons. So uh, I just saw that a World Quest uh, meta chest uh, for... Where did I get it from? I think it was Zandalar. Uh, I just had to complete four quests there. And I completed them, finished them. And you got a 410 chest. But they don't tell you what's in the chest. So it could be any kind of armor. As far as I know, it could be any kind of armor. And, uh, oh, I got the key already. But I still need to kill more Naga. Okay. So I opened up the chest and ended up getting a 410 bow. And that was upgrading my bow from, I think I had a... 370 or 365? Something like that. And that just shot me right up. And I think I upgraded one of my benthic gear. I think I did. And yeah, that got me got my armor level way up there. Okay. Let's open that chest. A 30 red... Ooh, I almost thought I wasn't mounted. Oh, that gave me a panic attack. That's a huge drop there. And I've already done that once where I did the chest quest. Uh, when I first got here, I did that chest quest. I wasn't recording it. And I thought I could fly. So I jumped on my mount, this mount specifically. I jumped on this mount before I could fly. But because I know this is a flying mount, I ran off the edge of that that building where that chest was that I just opened and I forgot I couldn't fly and I ended up falling to my death. Alright, where is this? Oh yeah, here it is. Hey, those Naga are not elites, so I should be fine if I aggro them. What was I supposed to get here? Was it purple? No, it's blue. I've already done red, orange, and yellow, and none of them triggered. No, red is the one. Oh yeah, I did orange and yellow. So red's the one I have to get. And of course, there's hardly any red. So I've got to try to force it. Uh, this is going pretty well, actually. Uh, I gotta get some of these down. Uh, is there anything I can pop that get these down a bit? There we go. I'm at 19 of 13. Jeez. This is one of the ones that gets a bit longer to do. Not too long, but I love puzzles like this. They never get old. I love doing them. I may not like jump puzzles, but I love these kinds of puzzles. Don't particularly love them in mobile games because there's like ads and banner ads and all that crap. And they try to slow you down and stop you by trying to make you pay to continue playing. I refuse to do that. I don't mind paying for the game if I play it enough, but I'm not going to pay to progress further in the game because I failed the board a few times, or whatever. Alright, uh... Okay, there's one of the spiral leaves. However, that specific one, you end up aggroing these guys if you land here. And when you aggro them, you can back up, then you aggro these guys. And there's also invisible guys there too, so... I'm gonna try to avoid that and head over to the other side. I've gotta kill five more Naga, but there's a bunch of Naga over on this side. The Eye of Glurthog I gotta kill, that's like a mind eater thing, it's like a squid guy. Ooh, my wrist cracked. So you can fly through some of this Naga area, I do have like a canopy above me. You can fly through some of it, but not everything. Some areas, they dismount you, so you gotta be careful, you gotta know where you're flying. Alright, so just down here... Okay, here's where I usually find them. Right here. Whatever yeah. Ajara is planning, it can't be good. Stop those Naga in their uh, 
Oh, I think that guy got the spiral leaf. There's usually one spiral leaf here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we're good with that. Deep coral I can get in a minute. I've got to get the void tinge substances. So you get those from Naga here. This will also help me finish my kill 15 Naga quest. I already fought these guys, the Soulbinder. I already fought them on uh, one of my characters in a previous video. So I'll avoid that one for now. I'm surprised it's up again. I thought they would have a different enemy up. Uh, usually this goes much faster if there's other players around. Shockingly, there's no other players around doing this quest. There's another Naga, that'll give me 13. Submit to the whispers. be some other player here because there's usually tons of naga all over this area but they're all dead like every single one of them are dead there's one fetch any money a player or group of players just came through here and they wiped out everything in this area okay, you gotta be careful here you can't fly too high There's a lot of squids that are flying in the area above. I have a canopy over me in this in this cave, and uh, there's only a couple of holes where you can fly through. And there are lots of these uh, just floaty guys, these mind benders floating around. And they can't dismount you in, in combat, like when you're in when you're flying, because they did it to me. <laughs> I was unlucky enough to get dismounted in midair. I survived the fall. Such a heavy burden you carry, soon you will be free of it. That's what he said. That's what, I guess it's the Zoss voice we keep hearing, but in case you didn't hear it. He said, such a burden you carry, soon you will be free of it. You normally hear him say that in this area. Okay, so this guy I gotta fight. Looks like he can't do much damage to my pet at least. I tried to fight him once without my pet and he destroyed me pretty damn fast. Oh, he's gonna kill my little minion guy. Die, 
die already. This guy is taking forever to die. He gave me four of those void substances. Wow. I did not expect that. I thought maybe he would give me one, maybe two. He gave me four. So I was able to complete that second world quest just by killing him. Luckily, I needed him. Okay. Uh, we got Murky's Egg. I'm not sure if I did this quest. But we got Murky's Egg coming up, and I'm not sure if I did the little quest here as well. I didn't do it on my Alliance character yet. Yeah, nope, I didn't do it. It seems as if this, this quest here knows you. Oh crap. Perhaps he could be of assistance. Yeah, I think I did this on my alliance character. Legacy of Naranen and Snapback. So this one, uh, I'll have to ask you a favor if you would be so kind. Scroll Saga Nola gave me this scroll to protect me on my adventures here in Najdatar. She is a kind soul, but her scroll work isn't always the most accurate. Uh, you look like a brave adventurer who's seen a thing or two. Could you test out the scroll for me? While you're there, you may want to, as you might as well call a numbers, a, a, the near numbers a tad. Okay, so I have to kill Snapdragons. Legacy of Naran. Hey there, mind helping me out? You see, I found these pylons here, and it seems they contain memories from a notable highborn who lived here long ago. I can't get any closer to the rest of them because of the Snapdragons, especially the Terror Moss. Can you go and activate the pylons for me? We Tertullans love old things, and this is a potential gold mine. Oh, and be sure to write down what you see. Never underestimate the value or power of something uh, more than two centuries old. <laughs> okay, but it looks like we're at 30 minutes now, so I'm going to stop it there. I don't want the video to go too long since I'm just doing world quests and not story. But with that, we are done. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for hanging in there to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you know when I post the next video. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.